But you have to know this, and it's really important to remember this all the time. And I've seen people who have lost a lot of weight, but then they gain it back again because they kind of get sucked back into this. Hello, gorgeous. Welcome to Cutting the Caboose. And in this one, I'm going to cover a list of things I wish I had known, or I would really like to have known before I had my weight loss. Now, I've done these kind of things before, but it's now a year on, over a year since I had bariatric surgery and I've had some cosmetic surgery. What do I wish I had known before I started all of this? So I get asked quite a lot about the weight loss surgery that I've had. I had a mini gastric bypass in Belgium. Near the B Surgery Clinic. Uh, fantastic clinic. If you're thinking of getting weight loss surgery, you should definitely look those up and consider them. Number five. And this is, a, this is an odd one. But I kind of miss having being overweight as um, a crutch or an excuse for certain things. It was kind of like my default, well, I can't do that because I'm too overweight. And I don't have that anymore. And I kind of, and it's not a regret, but I'm sort of, oh no, but I can do that now because I'm not overweight, but I'm a little bit, but you know, you know, do you know what I mean? I'm not in that category anymore. It's really odd that, that I can't quite get used to th that being me now, that, that my default state of being too overweight to do things is no longer there. I'm like, oh no, that's not, no longer an excuse. Why don't I don't want to do that? Does that make sense? So, so that's really odd. I didn't expect that. I, I thought I would be more, woohoo, let's do all the things now. And I kind of am when I step back and think about it. But I still have this odd... Um, I kind of forget that I've, that I've lost weight and I can do things. It's hard to define. It's hard to define. I'll give you an example. Um, I, was, I, was, I was having my eyebrows done uh, at a, um, a salon uh, earlier. And um, I normally couldn't use the stools because I was too big and I would be frightened of breaking them. So I would do, I'd use a different stool. But now it's like, oh no, no, I can, I can use those now, that's fine. It's the same with, you know, beds for waxing and things, those portable beds. I'm well under the weight restriction for those now, whereas before I, I, I didn't. And I, I still forget all the time that I can use the same things as everybody else now. So that's kind of weird. Number four on things I wish I had known before I lost weight. I feel awful for saying this, but uh, it's not uncommon. I now feel really uncomfortable watching overweight people overeat. And I don't know why. And I feel like I'm being really judgmental because I know that the reason I don't do that anymore is because of surgery. It's not because I'm a better person in any way. I just, I was fortunate enough to be able to afford surgery. So I don't understand where this mentality comes from. And I think it's, it's interesting because I see, and this is like an aside, but I see a lot of hate comments uh, regarding various things. And a lot of that comes from jealousy or it comes from internal loathing or fear, which you then project as hate comments, you know? And I wonder if I'm seeing the same thing and the discomfort that I feel about seeing overweight people overeating. And I mean people like they're stuffing their faces in restaurants and things. It's not pretty, it's an unpleasant behavior. So, otherwise you're happy doing that, that's absolutely fine. But I think because in myself, I was so disgusted at my Myself when I used to do that, that it makes me want to, oh, don't do that, that's vile. But mainly because it's like it's like a reflection of what I used to do and how much I hated that part of my life before. So that's a really odd one. And I'm curious to know who, you know, if you guys experience that too. And it's not, look, you know, I'm quite, I rationalize it. I'm like, wow, I can't, I, that's really, I shouldn't be doing that. I shouldn't judge people that way because I'm no different that I've done that too. I've, you know, sat there and I've had all the food. So that's a really odd one that I can't quite, I haven't quite compartmentalized that and rationalized that in my brain yet. And I suspect it's a self-loathing thing, a bit of truth there. <laughs> so number three in the things I wish I had known before I'd lost weight, just didn't consider, is as well as my feeling uncomfortable at seeing other people, I now make overweight people uncomfortable. Not all of them, but I know some quite overweight people who have said some really unpleasant things about me because I've lost weight. And that's really odd. It's almost as if, I don't know whether that's a jealousy on their part, and they're like, I've broken out of that thing now, and I'm no longer part of that, you know, the fat club. But, and that, again, this is really common. People who lose weight often get a lot of, you know, negativity and resentment from people who are still overweight and are really struggling with their own journeys. And it's kind of one of the reasons that I do this channel, if I'm completely honest, is because I, I'm one of these people that wants everyone to have whatever they want, and as long as they're prepared to put the effort in, and I want to help everyone do that, which I know is a little bit, you know, pie in the sky, but I do. I sincerely want everybody to be happy, and if I can help others. So I kind of, I struggle 
with this mentality of people who are only happy if they're putting others down or other people succeeding makes them unhappy and it's kind of part of that and I'm tending to distance myself from those people quite a lot because they're kind of toxic you know and though that said if they came to me and wanted you know help obviously absolutely I'd be there but it's just something that you kind of there's this negativity that you've got to get away from and not because it can bring you down and I've seen people who have lost a lot of weight and then they gain it back again because they kind of get sucked back into this way of living and old you know oh I don't know cause it's, I, you know I'm saying this out loud and it feels like I'm saying you're, you must move on from those people you're no longer part of that group and it's not that you know friends are friends and you need to be loyal to people but you also need to be careful of you know toxic environments and not be drawn into those negative parts of those relationships does that make sense this sounds like I'm being really unpleasant to people here and I, it's really not intended to sound that way but you just need to you know think about things and be mindful of the um, social environments that you find yourself in because it can we're social creatures and these sorts of things change us and we we're steered by our peers right so you know it is what it is <laughs> and kind of I'm being maybe hypocritical here but I now become really annoyed at armchair dietitians who keep telling me that I've lost weight the wrong way I don't even know what that means there was somebody on my channel not long ago and they were really lashing out they were really really bitter and I mean they left like 30 comments in just one day you know these were they were like oh, I hate you and everything about you I was like well, okay <laughs> chill and you and, and you see a lot of the same myths and lies and I need to do another video on this but the sort of stuff people will throw at you like if you lose if you have bariatric surgery you lose weight too fast I've no idea what that means they'll say oh your skin becomes saggy well yeah if you lose weight quicker than your skin can react it will become saggy your skin doesn't change it will catch up just if you lose weight more slowly your skin has more time to catch up okay there's not really much wrong with rapid weight loss per se there are side effects that you need to manage hair loss muscle atrophy things like that so you need to watch your, your vitamins and you need to manage your weight loss and so and, you, and you, your physician will your, your GP will explain that to you but when you have bariatric surgery you lose weight very quickly it's not necessarily a bad thing you just need to manage it and seriously um, and I'll get touch on this again later but don't let people put you off with myths and lies and that's another video I'm going to cover okay so yeah armchair experts telling me I've done it the wrong way jog on go away go away worry about your own lives because seriously you know I'm doing all right <laughs> Ah, here's a big one, and I haven't really covered this much. The internets have happened. Dumping. Now then, this dumping is bad, okay? And I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but it's only happened to me once or twice. This, the procedure that I had is quite good in terms of the side effects, but when you get them, oh boy now dumping when you're a bariatric now you can this can happen people call it um ibd or um irritable bowel syndrome or ibs sorry irritable bowel syndrome and nobody really knows if it's actually a thing or not i don't think it is a syndrome it just means you eat the wrong stuff and it goes into your large intestine and your large intestine says whoa don't want any of that out do you go and then you need the bathroom real quick i don't think it's a condition as such i think it's just something that happens to 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 lots of people if you've had bariatric surgery you get it a lot more so if you eat like a fair chunk of fatty sugary food like really nice ice cream you're probably going to be in the bathroom and curled up you know just uh, wishing it would all go away and so yeah dumping is bad and one thing that I have found and it hasn't spoiled things but when you're on holiday or when you're like away from home and you're away from your lavatory you really have to be mindful about the food you're eating because if you're wandering around out in the wilds or in a theme park or somewhere snacking on tasty salty fatty sugary bad snacky theme park foods yeah you may find you need to use a restroom rapidly so be very careful of that get to learn things you can and can't eat and even then okay i've had foods which have been safe like you know a small amount of chocolate or a, you know like a pizza slice or something and i've been fine with them and then occasionally it's through your system like water down a drain pipe and oh boy that that you want to be sick but you can't because there's nothing actually in your stomach it's down in your plumbing and your plumbing is ejecting that stuff as fast as possible it's like it's like a black belt of of diarrhea i'm just being gross here but not nice 
Okay, not nice. But then it brings me on to my next point. Bariatric surgery doesn't actually cure you. And this is something else I did not know before having surgery. But you have to know this, and it's really important to remember this all the time. Bariatric surgery does not cure your, your willpower and your emotional obsession with food. It didn't with me, okay? And to make this live for you, when I had dumping last time because I'd eaten too much ice cream, I was in the bathroom, I was extremely ill in all directions, in tears, feeling really sorry for myself that it passed. It doesn't last long, okay? It passed. I left the bathroom, went into the kitchen or living room, and there was the tub of ice cream that I had, you know, that had made me feel very ill. And my first thought was, ooh, ice cream. <laughs> how messed up is that? But that just, that just illustrates how you're not cured. You still see those bad foods and you think, ooh, taste the ice cream. Even when you know how ill it'll make you, okay? And sometimes that's what put, makes people put the weight back on. You have to be very careful of what you eat. So you do need less willpower, but you still need willpower, okay? My my solution for this is just not having that stuff in the house. And I only and this is a ridiculous one, and I cover this on my weight loss videos, but one of my little tips is go shopping when you've got a full belly. Or, or do it online, same thing. Because then you don't buy all the junk. But when you're hungry for snacks, you buy the snacks. So just make sure you go shopping when, you, when you're not hungry. You know, as ridiculous as it sounds, that really works. So that is it. That is my list of little things that I wish I had known before I had bariatric surgery. Not wish I'd known, a good to know. And that's pretty much it. So as always, if you like my channel, if you like the content, please comment, like, share, subscribe, hit that alarm button so you'll be kept up to date of all the videos I put out. And sincerely, I love you guys. Bye gorgeous. Mwah.